Hello and welcome to my second video um, of all about unboxing what I saw in my mail today. Uh, this is Barb. I am the proprietress, enchantress, babbler, basically, of my channel, which is B Rex the PR Goddess One. A channel based mostly on beauty and rambling and whatever stuff I find to spend my money on usually. So sit down, relax. Pull up something to drink. I've got water. If you're not subscribed and you're interested in subscribing, the button is below. And you can hit the notification button as well because I do not currently have a regular set um, upload schedule for new videos and new content. And so if you do the notifications, you'll find out instead of just having to wait endlessly. So let's begin, shall we? This video is... A little bit of what I recently got from an indie brand, Amazon. Uh, very small, very. When I say small, I mean very small. Ulta order. And um, I'm going to kick off with my KVD Beauty because I actually do like the line stuff. And they were having a rocking deal. So let's begin, shall we? Let me start with something I picked up on Amazon when I was checking for cat food. Because Chewy... I was trying to compare prices. So Aesthetica, who I do love, they're out of Miami. I have a bunch of their little sponges. I have the little tiny black beauty sponges from them. Wait, no, that's not one of theirs. That's a different black beauty sponge. The little minis like this. They come two to a pack. Then they make a big body one, but they make a regular size one. And here it is. I thought I had one already. I probably do somewhere, but it was like three bucks and change on Amazon. How do I not buy it? So I bought it and they shipped it by itself. Cat food's still coming. I digress. Okay, then I had gotten a couple of things recently from Ulta, one of which is um, they were doing some buy one, get one free on the selected Morph brushes, Morphe, for those of you who feel that's the way to say it. Um, so I got two brushes that I was looking at for a while, which was the, what is the M536. This is an under eye bullet brush. And then this one is the M420. 27, which is a duo fiber blush brush. They're $10 each. I got two for 10. Buy one, get one free. So finally, they went from saved to cart to checkout. Why not? Then um, they were doing a sale on Essence Cosmetics. And I know they have the Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer. And they had a mosaic blush I was looking at. So with both, I wasn't sure which shade. So for the concealer, I thought the golden toffee would work better for my under eye, but I wasn't sure for my regular face to kind of hide some of these monstrosities, if dark caramel, caramel would work or be too dark. So I got both and I tested this one, the uh, golden toffee, perfect for under my eyes. Um, I just, I didn't do a full makeup look with it. I just kind of did a quick color check, blend out, work great. Um, the dark caramel, I didn't put it on over like primer and foundation, so I'm not sure. It looked a little too deep, but maybe if it is, I could end up using it A, a in the summer or B as a contour shade instead. We'll see. I may just return it. We'll see. I got to try and do makeup, but you know, work schedule. I haven't had two minutes to do a full face since I went to the wedding this weekend. Then for the blushes... This is the first one. This is the Mosaic Blush in the color The Berry Connection. I'm going to open it for you. Oh, again, I forgot my secret. Purpley pinks. Very pretty. I know some people feel those colors will look great on them and that I should give them a try. So for $3.99, because why not try it? So just buy one, get one free. Basically, I got two of the blushes and I got the two found um, concealers and since they were all the exact same price I paid $3.99 for two of them and then for the other two I paid two bucks and here's the other shade which is called all you need is pink you know I gotta try them because I had actually bought a lipstick twice it's in my Ulta unboxing video and um yeah I have to exchange that so I will give these guys a little shot and try and see what I think of them because who knows they could all suck and be quite honest I don't know I haven't tried them yet but we'll see but the brushes soft as butter baby although with this duo fiber tip I do wonder how it's gonna what effect it's gonna give I might try this with a cream blush 
or one of those bouncy ones. We'll see. Okay, so that's there. Then one of my girls on Insta, Yuna Beats, E U N A B E A T S, love her. She had shown a Moira blush duo. And this one is called Sunflower Beauty. And I fell in love with it because of the color. See this? You can wear them alone or together, but this here, this shade is as close to the Mango Fizz shade as I could find in a brand that was not the Scott Barnes Face Palette at $58. This duo was $7. I had to have it. Now, I also did not want to pay $7.95 for shipping, so I got a couple other things. I got the Fiery Lover Blushing Goddess Duo. That's what these are called, Blushing Goddess Duos. They're all $7. So I got this color as well to play with, which is a dark pink and like a reddish terracotta kind of shade. I figure for when you do draping instead of true contouring, and again, draping is something that was big in the 80s. It was kind of sculpting the cheek and the cheekbone area, but using different shades of blush instead of using bronzer. Because no offense, I'm brown enough as it is. I don't really feel I need any more brown. That's just me. I know it's an unpopular thought. Oh, well. I mean, I do bronze a little bit around the forehead because I've got a seven head. Not even a five head. But whatever. Then I tried one of the... Because I went to their best-selling page. I got what I wanted. Then I was like, well, what else is reasonably priced that I could throw in the cart to get me to that point? Because I'd rather spend the $7.95 on product than on shipping. And they have liquid lips. And this color was color 26 brick. The package reminds me a little bit of the um, Sephora lip creams. And this color looks more dark in regular light. Like when I'm looking down at it here, it has like a burgundy shade to it almost. But in the light, in the it's reflecting and the way it's coming out on the video, it looks much, much redder. But either way, I think it's going to be fabulous. It's a shade I can wear. And if my mother wants to snake it from me, which I sometimes pass my lipsticks along to her, I'm okay with that. Okay, next they have these cream shadows that are named after different planets and things. They are the Lucent Cream Shadows. I found two that were duochromes because I'm a duochrome and multi-chrome kind of girl. So these are in the bestsellers also. These are $7 a piece. So this first shade I'm going to show you is a shade called Saturn. Saturn is number 11. I'm just holding it light. You can see it's like gold. It's a light green. It has almost like a little bit of a minty color. And when I'm looking down at it at certain angles, it almost looks like it's a little purple. But I digress. And then shade 10 is called Jupiter, because why not go with Gas Giants? I myself am a Gas Giant. So this is this one, which is definitely a gray, purple, pink, lavender. Let's open these puppies up and see how they swatch. Because these guys, I'm going to put them on the back of my hand. And where's my little... Oh, something took a header. I'll pick it up later. So they're very small little pans. For seven bucks, you only get 0.074 of an ounce, which is 2.1 grams. It's not terrible. It's not. It's bigger than those Kristen Dominique ones that I don't like from my Ipsy. Very creamy. I'm just gonna look at that. It's like glossy. Like I would use these as an eye topper for a halo eye. Because I'm not gonna use these as a creamy base because again. I want to I wanna revel in their multi-chromeness. That's just me. So this one is Saturn, which I don't know if you can see all the different purples and gray shimmer and beigey, berry. I mean, I'm looking at it this way. I see aqua and purple. I would say, get yourself one and play with it. You'll see what I mean. I did want some of the greens, like Andromeda and Earth and stuff, but um, I was like, Start with two. You don't need to buy the whole line. You don't know if you're going to like them. And then that would really suck. you got like 15 or something you don't like. So here is the inside of our friend Saturn. Because Jupiter's already on our hand. Let's use a different finger. And let's... Didn't even press very hard. Just swirled it. And now let's put some Saturn out there. You'll see Saturn with its greenish. That's my jam. So these are going to be winner-winner chicken dinners. 
because um, again, you can't go wrong. Well, while I'm here, I might as well swatch these, right? I mean, come on. You didn't come for just two swatches. Bring them all. Bring her go home. Okay, so for these Blushing Goddess duos, they are taped down. It is a, pla uh, a cardboard um, type of packaging with a very strong magnet. So if you try and run a blade under there by that side, you will actually catch it on the magnet. Let's see what we got here. I'm just going to move it back. Let's see. Wow. That's just the lightest. I didn't even go very heavy. I don't ever apply pressure. Oh, that one doesn't seem as pigmented, but yet it is. It's more of a reddish. I kind of like them. That was just the faintest amount of pressure. I wasn't sure about this color. I was afraid it was going to read very bizarre and like grayish on me. But hey, I'm down for whatever. Let me grab a wipey to clean off the ever-loving swipes. And let's see what we got over here as far as Sunflower Goddess instead of Fiery Lover. This Fiery Lover has definitely got some juice to it, and that's just with the faintest touch. I can't. I'm, I'm in love. Okay, let's run this right under and pop this little sticker. This is how I'm recommending you do it. There you go. Because if you try and scrape the sticker with your nail, you're just going to get frustrated. All right. Dry, clean hands. Let's swatch these. Oh, my mango. Look at that yellow. I wanted this so badly. Because I think this will help transform some colors really well. And let's put it over here. Hell, I could use that as eyeshadow. And now I'm going to take that bright red. and put that bright red right here as well so this is the red and that's the yellow and they give you an option to see them swatched together now mind you my hands are way darker than my face so if this shows this well on my dark sun damaged hands just say you know i have some high hopes for these and again seven dollars there were a ton more shades most of them are fairer i'm not gonna lie um, but you know, for a darker skinned woman, I figured the red and these guys would be perfect. So I'm very, very jazzed about these. And while I'm at it, I'm going to, oh my God, look at these multi-chromes. You can't really tell in that light, can you? You see that flash? Look at that, that green one. Oh my God. Ugh, I can't. Saturn, you had me at hello. And Jupiter, you had me at girl. Okay, so I'm going to clean off my hand. And let's see what we got here that we haven't swatched yet. Maybe I'll do a lip swatch. All I have is chapstick on. Why not? Take off the palm. Dry that up. Let's try brick. I'm going to put it on literally in my viewfinder because reasons. Don't hate. It's not going to be straight. I'm in a rush. Oh, interesting. I kind of like that. It's not a true doe foot. It's that squiggly one. It's kind of cool. I think it'll shape really well. Not too shabby. Feels like I got nothing on vibrant doesn't feel like it's overly wet like some of the other ones can let's see how long it takes to dry and how it wears so this was my moira cosmetics haul i used the coupon i don't know if it's still valid i don't have any codes but if one wanted to try and use the coupon moira 20 m-o-i-r-a-2-0 and i got these and I think it also gave me free shipping. So you gave me 20% off from free shipping, but I think it had to be over 25 bucks. So here you go. 
7, 14, 21, 28, and 35. There you go. Oh, yeah, because I did it with Afterpay. Because I felt like paying like six bucks a week every two weeks. All right. So that's that. While we're at it, I might as well. Let me just bust out my new brush. We are going to try All You Need Is Pink with the Fiber Duo brush. Side A. If it'll pick any up. It picked a little bit up. I remember all I have is sunscreen on from earlier today. That's actually not that bad for a very light application. Neutral smell. That's all I can say. Still comfy. Now I'm going to try the other side with the purplish one, which is called the Berry Connection. What do we got here? The Rainbow Connection? I mean, come on. All day. Clean side. Much more on this side. Oh. I like it. Let me actually try the other side again, because I, maybe I just didn't get enough product, because now compared, it has no pigment. There we go. No, both are good. They stay. You have earned your keep. Thank you and good night. And, well, screw it. Why don't we go there? Just wiping off the brush before it gets too grody. I'll mess with it later. This is the same shape. It's like almost a little scoop shape. This one here, here in my hand is dark caramel. So see, it does seem to be a pretty decent match for my skin. And then this one is golden toffee. Which might be better. Same little scoop I think that'll be better for under eye or you know if I want to use these two to highlight and contour so now you've got some colors there there you go if, I mean, if you want to see how they blend out use one of my fluffy concealer brushes there I'm all about those okay so you see my spots there let's see how they cover And then remember, this is no primer, no foundation. Not too bad. I have two of these little brushes, so let me get another one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my magnetic foundation brush to kind of dab this guy. He's a little pinker, as you can tell. Whereas this guy's a little more yellow undertone. And as I am, definitely a yellow undertone. But that's how it looks stippled out as far as like if I wanted to try and contour with it or use it on the regular part of my face. Eh, I'm not against it. I'm not for it. I mean, you know, we'll see how it works. I'm going to take it all off now because of reasons. And I don't really feel like wearing two mismatched blush colors on screen for posterity. So let's take these off as well. I will leave the lips because why not? I mean, you're already 18 minutes in with me. I mean, you might as well. There you go. So that is what I got. I'm actually going to do a separate video next. Sorry for my cap on D because we're at 19 minutes and no one's going to want to watch something that's like five hours and also it'll take forever to upload. So thank you for coming and thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Those who have, those who haven't, well, you know, I don't judge. You do you. Stop by whenever. And um, other than that, stay hydrated. Always wear your sunscreen. And in these times of COVID pandemic, please wash your hands, keep your distance, isolate when you can, outside or virtual when you can, wear your masks, whether you believe in them or not. And remember always, whether now, then, pandemic or not, be the kindness you wish to see in the world because it is so lacking, especially now. Love to you all. See, no transfer. And see you in the next video.